Born in Dublin and in the mid-90s, the Troubles were distant in both time and place, but they were always there. Exploring the differences, and more often the similarities, between communities and beliefs in Ireland, Young Peace Builders has helped us to identify our beliefs and what makes us and our communities different. Rather than entrenching feelings of distance, focusing on our similarities helped us to feel like we belonged, as our small group of strangers gradually transformed into friends. Young Peace Builders is illustrative of the great things that the people and communities of Ireland can achieve if we work together. In the heart of Enniscary, over the last year, I've learned many things about culture and language and politics and what separates a northerner and a southerner, or a nationalist and a unionist. So there are many things that bond us, like the island that we live on, and to achieve peace through consent and mutual respect. The most valuable part of the um, Glen Quay project for me was meeting people whose lives were shaped in very different ways by the Troubles. As someone who studied history and politics at Queen's, I've read Lost Lies and all those other sorts of books, but um, it very rarely you see the actual humanity behind the statistics point was made to me recently um, that everyone knows about Bloody Sunday and uh, the Oma bombing in the most vague terms but uh, very few people would actually be able to name any of the victims. Dialogue between you and people from different backgrounds who you may not be able to understand is an incredibly important experience. When you're able to share your story and I'm able to share mine we can come to an understanding. This not only facilitates peace building, but it enriches the world around us. Gaining new perspectives and also new friends is an experience I've had. And let me tell you, you can find no other wonderful group of people other the ones that are in Young Peace Builders 2017. So one of the first exercises we did on Glen Cree was to draw an outline of our hands and on the outside put how Oliver would describe us in terms of our identity and the inside put how we would describe ourselves. And so on the outside, um, things like you know, nationalist, unionist, Catholic, Protestant featured a lot, but in the inside, um, really not heavily at all. So it made me think, you know, as young people, we need to push forward for new ideas for Ireland, for the North and South, and to not let the issues of the past completely dominate um, our politics and society. The reason I joined YPB 2017 was that I felt uh, the spirit of the Good Friday Agreement was missing from our generation. And what I think I gained from taking the program is firstly a lot of friends. I feel like I gained a lot of experiences that addressed what I didn't understand about that spirit and how we can take it forward as a group. The Glen Creek Peace Builder project has been beneficial because it's helped me to understand the perspective of people from communities other than my own. I learned a lot, especially from the nationalist community and from the people down south. They had various questions and misunderstandings and I wasn't really sure about their view of the conflict. However, as a result of this program, they're more clear about the conflict in Northern Ireland and I'm more clear about their views and how they would view us. Being a catalyst for appreciating the value of community cohesion and share society on the island of Ireland. Looking at reconciliation, it has its own complexities, and meeting people from Derry who are involved with perpetrators and a victim has given me a new perspective on the idea of victim and perpetrators within the Troubles, and I find that extremely rewarding. And we practice a lot of active listening within our group, but also with those who came to speak with us. After a while, it actually became far easier to make connections rather than divisions between the lives of these characters who represented every side of the conflict. And then by default amongst ourselves as we developed lifelong friendships. Before June the Glen Creek Peace Builder Programme, I had never met or been friends with a Protestant loyalist or even encountered them in Cork in the Republic. At the programme we met, former IRA terrorists and women who'd been affected by their violence, women whose husbands had been murdered. And they sat side by side and recounted their stories. And it made me realise that we can all do so much more and that we can all reach out cross community and make friends that we didn't think 
could happen and that we could break down stereotypes of what the other community looks like. It was an honour and a privilege to be a young peace builder. But what was more important is that I've met friends that I truly think that I will hold on to forever. I think in, in times of such uncertainty and anxiety um, that young people do have something to offer um, and that real change comes through, through talking to each other and through engaging with each other. And I think that the, the work that Glen Cree does, um, not only with groups from this island, but you know from across the world, um, has real value. And I just wish um, you know, there was more work like this and that there was more people involved.